Greetings and welcome back to the last part of learning Game Maker language from scratch. Throughout this whole series, I've been teaching you the basics of Game Maker language and not just Game Maker, but also programming in general. If you followed through from the beginning to now, then you are pretty much all set to begin working. The last big thing that I would leave you with is don't overlook the help manual and the technical resources that are out there for you. Knowing how to read a, a help manual and to know how to look at functions and what they do is the next big thing for you. You know the basics, you know how to use them, you know how to program now, and now you just have to start doing that. And whenever you run into a problem or a question, take it to the internet, read the help manual, look at how it's supposed to function, and then see if it is really working that way in your game, and if not, what you need to do to alter that so it does work the way that you want it to. You are a full programmer now. You may not be able to go out and create an entire game in a day, but you have the basics, you understand programming, and you can jump into any language as long as you are willing to read and just learn the language-specific keywords and coding and grammar you can begin programming any language you want, which is awesome. So I'm super excited that you followed me along and I hope that you will go places with this. If there's anything that I didn't cover that you'd like to see specific, then feel free to leave a comment, hit me up on Twitter, let me know. We talked about a lot of things in here, but there's always more to discover. There's always examples that are very useful to see played out. So if there's anything that I left out that you want to see, just let me know and I will work on making that. If you'd like to specifically influence the, the content I create, consider supporting me on Patreon. I have polls on there that this was one of the series that I put out there. I said, what do you want me to make next? And my patrons voted for learning GML. And so this series came out of that. So if you want to influence what I do, then hop on over there. There's a link in the description and at the end of this video. But that's all I've got for you guys. Thank you for joining me on this journey. It's been great, and I hope that you have learned a lot. So, as always, have fun making great games, and I will talk to you later.